guess what? Kia have done a hybrid. But why is that? Well, Kia is becoming, well, it already is, one of the big competitors in Europe and in the UK. But if it wants to keep up with the mainstream, then it'll have to have a model range to match. Boom, enter the Kia Nero Hybrid. And due to Kia's success with its Sportage crossover, it kind of makes sense that it's hybrids a crossover as well. Plus, it fills a gap in the hybrid segment. I mean, you've got the Toyota Prius hatchback, you've got the BMW 2 Series Active Tourer PHEV MPV. That's a mouthful, but until now, there's been no crossovers. And the Nero's design actually fits in with the rest of the Kia range, thanks to its polarizing look, something I and I'm sure many others are starting to come around to. And I don't know, there's something about its design that looks like an amalgamation of the Sorento and the Sportage, with this slightly extended, rather flat front end, these cool creases in the bonnet, and of course, that trademark Tiger Nose front grille. Right, so getting in the uh, memory seat, function starts to do its job and before you set off you will hear some nice music you get that in the Kia Soul EV as well you'll have to take the foot brake off like you do in a Toyota Prius put it into drive and then you're good to go and you will get pure electric power at first so you won't actually hear the engine running but the transition from the electric power to the combustion engine is very seamless I mean yeah you can hear it you hear this now. You can hear it, but in terms of power delivery, it's extremely linear and smooth. The Nero is a straight up hybrid, which means there's no plug-in electric option, not yet anyway. And the powertrain consists of just one option, which is a 1.6 litre four cylinder petrol engine mated to a six speed dual clutch automatic transmission. And this runs alongside an electric motor. And together they produce a combined power output of 139 brake horsepower, getting the Nero from zero to 60 in just 11.1 seconds. So that's the performance figures out the way. But what about those all important fuel economy figures? Well, we've actually got the top of the range first edition model, so it's not as efficient as say the entry level model, but this claims 101 grams per kilometre of CO2 and claims to retain an average of around 64 miles per gallon. Now we've been driving on a mix of country roads, motorways, B roads, and we've been getting an average of around 45 to 50 miles per gallon. But what about the way the Nero drives? Well, let's face it, it could get away with being very average. I mean, it's a hybrid, a car that's supposed to be aimed at purely being efficient. But the Nero's not like that. Kia haven't just gone for the safe option because the Nero's actually really good to drive. I mean, the steering's well weighted. It weights up when you go into the corners a bit more and the ride is incredibly comfortable, but it, you know, it doesn't wallow in the corners. So you get the best of both worlds, really. It's very refined from the outside world. I mean, our camera guy was shouting me from outside the car before, couldn't hear a word he was saying. Um, yeah, I mean, it doesn't feel like it's bogged down in just, just giving you high MPG figures. I mean, the Nero actually sits on an all new platform, which has been designed specifically for electric cars and to accommodate future technology. And yeah, you can feel it. It doesn't feel, doesn't feel boring to drive. You can actually have a bit of fun with it. So we've traded in our first edition model for something slightly more realistic, this grade two model, which is expected to be the best seller. And this gives you a good idea of what your Kia, if you buy one, might look like. Now, familiar features in this include this dual layout of buttons, which is more compact when compared to the likes of the Sorento and the Sportage layout, but hey, this is a compact SUV. And everything's well laid out. All the buttons are easy to understand and get your head around and everything feels solid and well built as well. Kit-wise, every model's quite generous. You get DAB radio, Bluetooth, and even lane keep assist. But the piece of kit most people will probably be after is this seven inch touchscreen, which comes with sat nav and a reversing camera. And this is only available from grade two models and above. And you can actually get an even larger eight inch screen if you go for the grade three models and above. So at £21,295, the Nero is cheaper than the Prius and the two series Active Tourer PHEV. And although the Prius's 94 miles per gallon pips the Nero, 
the Nero has got something the Prius hasn't, crossover appeal. And thankfully the Nero doesn't lose out on any of Kia's newfound interior quality or driving dynamics either, and it keeps very in line with what's been making its customers happy, including the seven year warranty. So good on you Kia. And should BMW and Toyota be worried? I think so, yeah. But we'll delve deeper into the Nero when we get it into our office for a proper review and spend a bit more time with it. But until then, make sure you browse our other videos and keep your eyes peeled for our full review of the Nero. Looks better in red, doesn't it? Click on the inquire button to find out more details about this car or for any other models, visit carkeys.co.uk. And to watch more reviews, click one of the links on screen now.